Good afternoon folks, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2017 on a 67 plate. In fact, double check the age reference the advert. It might be a 2018 on a 67, but well, let's, let's call it 2017 at the moment. Um, it is the Vauxhall Vivaro 1.6 CDTI Sportive. So that is your top of the range model. Uh, now this is a one that keeper from new vehicle. It has arrived to us direct off lease with just 22,000 miles on it and I'll be honest with you now there's a couple of minor bits of cosmetics but I think you will not find a cleaner Vivaro for this age and miles I don't know what it's done in the back but it's never seemed to have uh, seen a hard day's work in the back of it now the purpose of our videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying the vast majority of our customers will buy having watched the video um, and uh, leave a deposit, come and collect, or uh, get a quote for delivery. There's a couple of different options for you. Yes, we part exchange. Yes, we arrange finance. Speak to us, reference these if you're interested. Um, now, um, we always start up on the roofs. Um, hasn't come in with a roof rack on it or anything like that. So, all looking pretty straight and tidy up there to me. And then coming down to your windscreen, the windscreen is in good all round condition with no stone chips or cracks. And then down onto your bonnet, again, good overall condition, um, no major stone chipping, nothing like that. We seem to be attracting a lot of little minor black flies today, so I'll try and differentiate between a little black fly and a stone chip. However, this one's not moving, so I guess that's a stone chip. Um, we'll get that touched in for you, that's not a major drama, is it? Front of the vehicle, your front grills, front of the front bumper, those are all in good condition as well. Passenger side headlamp unit, that's in good order. Passenger side front bumper corner, that's also in good order with no major scuffing. Take note, you do get the front fog lights with the Sportive. And if we have a look down the side profile of the van from this angle, there's a few things to note. It's got a nice mirror finish to that white paintwork, hasn't it? So you can see it's had a little bit of love in its time. There are also no dents or dings to point out to you on that passenger side. It is very straight and tidy. Driver's side headlamp unit, that's also in good order. And your driver's side front bumper corner, again, good condition, front fog lights fitted and no major scuffing. And again, looking down the driver's profile of the van, there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. And again, there's a nice mirror finish to the paintwork. Driver's side front wing with side repeaters all in present and correct. We have driver's side front steel wheel, minor bit of corrosion on your steel wheel that's hidden behind your factory hubcap. Your factory hubcap's in good condition. You've got a continental tire on there. That tire has that element of tire tread depth that you can see there. Where we are with tires, anything less than three millimeters, we replace the legal limit being 1.6 millimeters. That's a fly and that mirror cover and case and your upper and lower mirrors are in good condition. Driver's side front door glass is in good order as well. And then bringing the camera down to the rest of the door, hopefully you can see all very neat and tidy as well. Driver's side door handles all good. Your door edges, those are also in overall good, clean, tidy condition. Getting down low, check out your lower seals. No damage to those, they're nice and clean as well. So personal OCD of mine. Generally, people don't clean these lower seals. We make sure they're all properly cleaned. I know, I know I've got proper issues, but if that's the only issues I've got, well. Uh, mid quarter, um, overall a really nice, tidy condition as well. And being the 2017 model, it's the one where they're still using the colour-coded strips, whereas the later 2018 model, all of your black uh, all of these strips down the side were just plain black plastic. Uh, rear quarter, upper, that's all good. Lower quarter, that's all looking good as well. Uh, driver's side steel wheel, minor corrosion on it, but you have a factory hubcap on there with no damage. It's got a Continental tyre, and that tyre has loads of tyre tread depth, as you can see there. Looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, and again, neat and tidy. All looking good. Rear bumper corner, all good with no scuffs. Uh, rear light unit is also in good condition. Now we do have just a couple of marks here, okay? We will touch all these in with a genuine touch-up stick, okay? But there are just a couple of minor touch-ins there. Rear fog light and reverse light are in good order. And then round to the back and you've got 50-50 split on your rear barn doors. 
Again, good overall condition with no major damage. We do have a tow bar fitted on the back of it. However, that tow ball doesn't really look like it's actually done any towing, has it? Trust me, I tow a lot. And if, you, uh, if you've got a tow bar that's done a lot of towing, that is just worn through to the metal on there. That is not. Um, driver's side rear door, overall good condition. Passenger side rear door, again, overall good condition. High level brake lights, all good. Your door edges, as we bring the camera down, you can see that these are in very good condition. And there isn't even the normal ding that you have here where people close the rear door in the wrong direction and uh, damage it. Rear bumper, look at this. Okay, we've got one touch in and one little minor mark here. But overall, your rear reflectors, etc., everything is in really neat, tidy condition. Inside the van is unbelievable how tidy this van is in the back and i do not say that lightly okay um, this van is exceptionally exceptionally clean now you've got one mark on your bulkhead just over here okay but the bulkhead is more or less like new have a look at your side your arches and the panels on the side here you can see how everything is like new your paintwork on the back end here. This will normally get quite scratched up on stuff that's worked hard for a living, nothing like it. Look around all of the edges here. So normally this will get full of dust and etc. etc. but these are all really, really neat and tidy. And then look at the inside of the rear doors. It's like it's just come out of the showroom. Yes, you've got a little mark, mine little mark there on the plastic. But really, this thing is pretty spectacularly tidy van. Um, <clears throat> passenger side. So let's start with your corner units. And again, rear light units are all good. Again, we have a little touch in required here and here. And your rear bumper corner, that's all good with no scuffs. Um, looking down the side profile of the van, again, nice polished finish to it your upper quarter this side that's all good lower quarter this side that's all good passenger side rear steel wheel that's all in good condition up caps all good you got continental tire on there that continental tire has that element of tire tread depth that you can see there sliding door this side again overall clean tidy condition getting down low check out your lower sills lower sills are in good condition with no damage and then your passenger side front door is also in great condition as is your door glass have a look at your door edges and again there are no major marks to point out to you all looking very neat and tidy sliding door handles all good and if i open up your sliding door have a look at your door shuts for starters those are really really neat and tidy with no damage no dirt have a look at this. Right, if you're looking at Vivaro's, Traffics, any of them that are on the same body shell, you know that your step here normally gets full of um, rubbish, for want of a better word. Um, it can get quite scratched up, etc. This is exceptionally clean and tidy. Again, there's a viewpoint of your bulkhead. Again, very, very neat and tidy. Yes, you do have the opening uh, hatch there. And again, just another viewpoint of the back of it, so you can see just how neat and tidy this van is. Um, open up this little flap and there's your diesel fuel filler and your add blue filler because obviously this is a Euro 6 engine so it is emission zones compliant this van. Have a look at your door bins, those are clean and tidy. Electric windows, the door shuts as you can see, they're really neat and tidy. Your entry sills and plastics are in very good condition. So uh, obviously somebody's been in and out of here since it's been valeted, so, but you, we'll get that re-cleaned for you. But you can see that your floor is essentially in neat, tidy condition. Glove box all good. Upper glove box, because it's a sportive. Um, and top of the dash, ooh, bit of piano black trim going on there. That gets the juices flowing, doesn't it? Um, your um, headlining, also in great condition. Um, rear bulkhead, as you can see behind the seats, that's in good order. Your passenger seat trim, has anybody ever sat on them? Doesn't look it, does it? 
And now with these seats, you pull this tog and you've got additional storage underneath there as well. And you can see it's equally as tidy under there. Um, just open up your bonnet. We'll finish this off with passenger wing mirror, all looking good. Passenger side front wings, all good. And you, oh, you've got a Hancock tire. So you've got three Contis, one Hancock. Hubcap all looking neat and tidy as well. So hubcaps with no damage on them. What is that all about? Especially that passenger side front. That is always the one that takes a battering, but that one's good. Bonnet, have a look. All looking very neat and tidy under there as well, isn't it? So we have fuse box over here. We have your battery cover here. We have brake fluid and we have clutch fluid and we have oil filler. Here is your coolant, correct color coolant for Vivaro, no contamination in it. There's your dipstick down there as well. Have a look down there as well whilst I hold the camera. Hopefully you can see no signs of any major oil leaks or anything like that. Windscreen washer air box is there as well. So under there, it is equally as clean as the rest of the van. And getting into the driver's side, your driver's side front door card, that's also in neat, tidy condition. Interior bins are good. Electric windows and mirrors, door shuts again, really neat and tidy. Entry sills and plastics again, really neat and tidy condition. Drive side flooring, yes, the lads have got in and out of it since valeting it. We'll get that recleaned, really redressed, but it's looking neat and tidy. Pedal rubber's all good. Driver side seat, that's all looking very neat and tidy as well. Um, parking sensors, stability program, headlamp levelers, and dashboard illumination more piano black trim mm. leather multi-function steering wheel a little bit of gray and black leather going on there happy days uh cruise control are your buttons on your steering wheel here we have wipers over here on board computer system is those two buttons on the end uh lights are over here there's your mileometer twenty-two thousand and thirty-one miles uh take note obviously just gone off uh take note that the instrument binnacle is free of dust it's not heavily scratched storage on there we have dab fm and am with bluetooth telephone and bluetooth music we have the all important air conditioning uh i am going to get that regassed it is working but it's not ice cold so i always get them regassed for you so you'll have a nice ice cold one freshly gassed cruise control speed limiter hazard warning light central locking six speed manual gearbox look at that gear knob that is not worn smooth either 12 volt power there you've got another usb power at the back there and you've got a usb power on your stereo so you've got loads of power for your gadgets looking in between your seats hopefully you can see really neat and tidy and that my friends is about it so one owner from new warranted 22,000 miles the l1 short wheelbase Vauxhall vivaro sportive there are 60 plus photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. Now, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Oh, God, what are we on? I'm dabbling with a bit of TikTok and... Trust Pilot, I think. Yeah, we're on there now as well. So there we go. Happy days. There's about 14 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. But if you are interested in this van, I think you will be hard pushed to find a cleaner van than this one. Thanks very much, folks. Give us a bell. Speak to you later. Ciao.